Well, in this video, I'm gonna uh, explore how to upgrade on a budget and start at lighting. The issue I was running into is at nighttime, either on park at the beach or chilling outside, the interior lights are, are decent, but I don't want them off because they're tied to the ignition, right? So I installed additional lighting here, the footwell and an extinguisher. I think three lights, one right there that I got out of another van at the yard. Matter of fact, I got these lights out at the yard down here and one right here. And also didn't have a light right there for the door. So this switch here, controls the, the lights also tapped into the power that's running from the battery the main power to run from the battery so these lights work independently of the ignition key it works fine for me also I installed another one in the back additionally the vcr still works the original wiring for audio is not stereo it's mono so I bridge the two speakers in the rear to work with the mono wiring with those two speakers that you see on the left and on the right to get it to work and back here it controls the head jacks and tv speakers so you can use earphones or tv speakers and also there's a radio for rear passengers that only works with earphones and that's the remote and uh dvd i mean cd my bad <laughs> player which is 12 volt and also it has built-in wi-fi so I, I have a a hard drive that has about 100 movies on it that is streamed through the dvd player through a um the hdmi to component converter because this tv is an hdmi but got at a thrift store for i think four bucks the tv as far as an upgrade and it worked it picked it fits perfectly the van initially didn't come with this table i believe i bought it from uh either tj maxx or ross for like 50 bucks because once i saw the height i was like oh man i can mount this in the van under the uh the cooler and also it has uh hot and cool it still works as well i just don't use it. so what i did was i unbolted the locks on the the cooler adjusted them and then sit the cooler on top of the base right here for the uh for the table you can see and it also folds out. Auto touch the seat. You just push it in a little bit. And there you have it. We're gonna get to the fan here in a minute. <coughs> also, like I said, modifying on a budget. Got this from the uh, the junkyard as well. Clean it up a bit. Remember the theme is upgrade on a budget. On a budget, buddy antique store there's a belt from a thrift store and these hooks came from a bungee cord reuse of the belt buckle also got a compressor air compressor out of an audi all-road station wagon my other van which was a 97 had a built-in one that went right here and also has the uh, the vacuum i will get into greater detail with the the honda eu 2000 generator later in an upcoming video somewhat i would call this a modular setup where you can easily break break things down and take it out if need be and most of this stuff came from antique stores, especially this box. This is a really nice box. It's the Appleton's uh, Jamaican rum case. And also the other box underneath is for, is for dry goods. Release the clip right here and she slides out. 